Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to the Patreon server. Playing some Feed the Beast Revelations. So, last episode we got started with Astral Sorcery. Uh, I stopped messing with it after the episode and started messing with some other stuff uh, to save that for us. But in the process of doing all that, I have realized uh, I, I, I've been doing a lot of automating stuff. Um, we've made another set of the crafting uh, processors and stuff like we got over here. Got that hooked up. I have hooked up all of this stuff to... Uh, be auto crafting basically I've got interfaces running into a chest the chest is more or less replacing the storage drawer that was here uh, and then just piping out into each of these and then right back around into the interface uh, so it's the exact same setup that we had before just changed to these that's it I uh, got all these hooked up um, the only thing I did change is this setup here. Uh, I decided instead of making these, um, you know, craftable upon request, to keep a storage drawer full of them. Uh, so basically, I've got a mini chest here. This mini chest will hold just a stack. Um, going into here. Uh, so this will hold a stack. I've got an export bus set up uh, on this one too. That uh, keeping it full of sand, so it's only keeping one stack of surface quartz and four stacks of the seeds. That way, we're not running all of our surface quartz through the system just yet. Uh, then I've got an export bus here for glowstone and basically just with glowstone. And that was where we run into the issues. You can see we've got two sets of seeds in here. I kept running out of glowstone. Uh, so I have remedied that. We'll look at that in just a second. I've got all these hooked up. Um, they are hooked up separately instead of going into one chest. Um, the pipes are still the same. I just changed the uh, extract colors to where... This one's on blue, this one's on purple, this one's on cyan. That way they uh, will just stay in there each one and we don't have to worry about them mixing up. I have also automated uh, the Fluix pearls or the Fluix crystals. Uh, basically I got interface in here with the pattern that puts it into the dropper. The dropper will drop them in here into the water and back behind here, if I can, I can't get back there. Oh, we have some cleaning up to do. Uh, I have a ranged collector with Fluix Crystal whitelisted, putting it back up into the interface so all of this stuff is now automated I, I don't have the charge service courts uh, we still got a handful of them left uh, so all the applied energistics at least the processors the crystals uh, and that is in the process of being worked on it's all automated now. Uh, slowly going to start cleaning up this corner of the room and move on to our next bit of business. Uh, I have added some more storage. I have not switched from putting stuff in here than the storage drawers just yet. Um, but this does have a lot of stuff in it. Um, so slowly filling these up. So there's that. Also, uh, so our issue with glowstone. I have a witch farm set up. This is, I've got all these more or less connected now. Um, so we don't have a bunch of stuff going in, you know, here, then over here, or over here instead of over here. Uh, everything is all connected. Um, so we got the mob spawner with a mob 
or with the witch in it, and that is more or less what we're doing. I've got everything running off a redstone signal in here. That way I can shut everything on and off. Um, and then if we go down here, it's the wrong one, you can see all the wiring that we got. Uh, it, it's quite the mess. Matter of fact, I went to the wrong spot. Let's light that up. Uh, these are all hooked to storage drawer or to uh, storage buses. Uh, it will recognize both pages of this. Uh, I, I've done some testing, looked and seen. So, but I've got all the mob drops hooked up into here, um, and then all the stuff that we get a lot of in here. I still got some room for some more. Uh, and then everything else goes into these overflow chests, and what doesn't go will fit into these overflow chests will go to the trash can. Same with all of this over here. If it doesn't go into our deep storage controller up there, it will go into this trash can. Same for the other one. So that is all of that set up. So that's part of what I've been doing. The other part of what I've been doing is going to sleep. Uh, one of the things that I have been automating is these deep storage controllers, these deep storage units, and they take chest. And I kept running out of wood. Uh, so we have... Oh, I need to get that off of there. I have a farm set up over here with the planter. And if we go right here, that hurt. Nothing's in here. Uh, we got the sower here. Then I've got this hooked up. We've got apples and saplings and oak wood. And we've got a drum for the sludge. Oh, I about choked to death. Alright, so... Yeah, we have hooked up all this stuff. We had all this stuff running and going, and I realized something. Uh, we didn't have enough power. Um, as you can see, we've got about 3,000 going in. Um, but we're only gaining power during the day. Our biofuel over here, whoa, uh, with the carrots, it's just, it, it, it's not keeping up. Um, so we are going to leave this running, but that is what we're going to do today. Uh, I'm going to step away from Astral Sorcery for an episode because power is something that we need to work on. And this thing is full yet again. Get anything good? Some soul bound. Mending I don't necessarily need. Uh, no, not really. That's all old stuff. Um, so we're going, we're going to be working in here. Uh, but we're going to take our next step in some power gen. Now, I talked about doing this before. We are going to work on canola. Uh, we're going to go all the way to the empowered. Uh, well, that's the plan to go to the empowered seeds to make the... Uh, let's see here the uh, empowered oil that is the plan for today we want to automate every bit of it try to keep it from having any kind of overflow issues and that so first things first I need to clear us out a space to work alright so uh, first things first we're going to do our growing with uh, our canola growing with garden closures need to get all of this set up now I need I have no conduit in my back anymore oh I did get a totem of a dying from David 
and we have an infestation around here. We have snow golems everywhere. Uh, and he's, that's why there's been, not been any slime down there. I did not know that they would do that. So but they're everywhere. The only room that they're pooping in is this room, and I don't know why. But they are pooping in this room. Alright, so we need conduit. We're going to need power. We're going to need fluid. We're going to need a lot more item conduit than that. Probably going to need more than that. Alright, so. First off, let's get our power hooked up. And we need a flux point. I tell you what, I love having stuff autographed now. Oh, it's so nice. Alright, so now we've got power in all these. Now we need water. Should have water in all these. No, we don't because we forgot to switch this to extract always active. Now we've got water in all these. Beautiful. Alright, so now we need some. Our item conduit. And we're going to need a couple of black holes. One there, one there. And we want to insert, and we're going to insert. All right. Dirt, we got. Canola seeds, I do believe, are in here. Do I have any canola? I don't think I do. Uh, I do. Alright, so. Lock it. And we're going to lock it. So that's all set. Now let's get these growing. And voila. We should start seeing canola. There we go. Alright, so there is our growing. That part is now done. Our next part, we need to get the canola. Actually, I've got this stuff on auto crafting. I don't know why I just didn't do that. Um, we need fermenting barrels. And we need some press. Actually, we need the presses first. And I didn't make a recipe for that. I think I was in the pro. Whoa. It's nighttime. See, that's this is where our issue is really coming in at. We've got enough power stored to keep us from going losing power all night. Uh, 
All right. Yep, I was making these. We need. Oh, I can't do that because I don't have this stuff set up yet. Uh, nine presses should be enough for what we're gonna do. We're going to line these up we're going to hope we can do that like that extract always active nothing Gotta keep all of this hidden because who wants to see ugly stuff? Alright. Alright, so I've got these going in here. I switched this to round robin mode. Uh, the problem we have right now is it's not necessarily keeping up. It will eventually get all this caught up once these start to fill up. Uh, so now we need to give this thing power. So that should power up every bit of these and it should start making canola oil. Beautiful. Next up, we need fermenting barrels. We're going to make nine of these. Basically, we can just place these in front of each one of these, and they will just fill up. So now we've got stage two of this. We've got canola oil. Now we've got refined canola oil. Beautiful. So now, our next part, we need to make these crystallized canola seeds. So that is next up on our list. To do that, we're going to need a couple of things. We're going to need another atomic reconstructor. We are going to need a red... redstone torch or seven. Probably going to need some redstone. We are going to need a pressure plate And we are going to need a precision dropper. And I probably don't have, yeah. There is that. And oh, it's time to automate all this stuff. Precision dropper. Try this again. There we go. And I'm thinking we're going to set this up. 
Let's set it up back here. That's not what we wanted. Let's see, atomic reconstructor first. We want that set to pulse. We want it set to pulse. That way it only goes off when that goes off. Precision dropper, that is going to drop our canola seeds. over here. So we want to set this to we don't need to insert we want to extract on the brown channel and make it always active. Trying to make it so all these cables are hidden. And I'm going to bet nobody can see anything. And I need some more conduit. Alright, so we've got this thing switched to pulse. I've got everything going in here. The next thing we need is some redstone conduit. We want to take this and hook it up to here. Should be out, that should be in. Deactivation is maybe what we need. All right, let's put. All right. Nope. Input on red. Output on red. That works. We need to drop that down one. Alright, so now we've got that fixed. It is now, we'll only drop one at a time. So now we need to give this thing some power. Make another one of these. And now we've got power. So now we should be able to put these in here and get that. So that is the goal. That's what we want. This is not hooked up to anything yet. But that's all right. We'll hook it up in just a second. So we need a way of collecting these. I'm thinking we'll just go ahead and use, since we're already doing actually addition stuff, let's just go ahead and stick with the actually addition stuff. So we want a ranged collector. Don't necessarily need a ranged collector, but this will work. We want this thing to only pick up the crystallized seeds. That's it. 
and we're going to put them inside a black hole unit. I want this to be able to run and run and run without in having to worry about anything uh, messing or with, without anything causing, without anything, you know, winding up on the ground or anything like that. So we want that to extract, that to insert. So now that should, in theory, Why did you not pick up? Oh, I know why. We can't use a ranged collector because of the redstone signal. Let us see. See if that works. So now we are getting canola seeds, the crystallized canola seeds. Beautiful. Alright, so we are back. So to kind of give you an idea of what we are working towards here. With the refined canola oil, we are generating 120, or uh, it's 80 RF a tick I think it is. So yeah, not necessarily a whole lot. So not necessarily bad. It's generating 80 RF a tick at a, for 120 ticks, I think it is. Um, so, but our next up that we've got to do is the crystallized oil. The crystallized oil will generate double that. So that is what our next goal is. So we need a fluid placer. Let's make a few of those. So auto placer. We need some buckets. Well, let's craft up 10 of them. Because uh, we're actually going to have to make two of these before it's done and over with. So we need a auto breaker. So there is our fluid placer and our fluid collector. Beautiful. We are also going to need a... forget that I've got it set up here. That's not what I want. Uh, scanner from Extra Utilities. There we go. Alright, so we're going to set this up uh, right, I guess right up here against the wall. I don't guess we need to actually go down a level for this. Alright, so fluid collector on one side. Fluid placer on the other side. Scanner in the back. Now, we are going to clear out all this. Because uh, this is going to get a lot bigger. I'm going to move the carrots into that and we'll probably run this stuff hide it back behind something or move it off to the side or something and we're going to need at least a block there and we're going to need another precision dropper
This one can go up there. And there we go. We want to set this to pulse, I do believe it is. And we need some conduit. So this should place why are we not getting... Oh, because I don't have it set up. Extract, always active. Alright, so that is kind of what we want here. So, now we need this, that is actually working. Alright, so, next up on our list is we want to get these seeds into this drop. And I need some more conduit. Alright, I'm trying to remember exactly how I want to do this. I think we want to set that to pulse. We want to scan this and set it to refined canola. We want this set up to where Oops. When this sees that there's canola here, that it's going to emit a redstone signal, and then we want this thing to pulse. think that is what we want here. Or do I have it backwards? Okay, yeah, I've got it right. Um, I didn't realize so let's put that in here. Let's put that there. And it had to be reset. So now we've got this, um, the crystallized. So now we need a redstone signal from it. I think we can still do this. Dang it. And that's got a bunch of we want it set to crystallized oil. We want this.
And we gotta get what's in here out. All right, so I think I have this figured out. So we've got this scanner set to crystallized oil. We've got a redstone conduit running into here with just a normal signal on this torch. All right, so that should only allow this to pick up that. So now if we run Well, we got to start it over. Why are you not getting seeds? And why did I just had to, it work? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. So now we are getting the crystallized oil. The crystallized oil Get us a bucket. when we put in here. Well, it's only 20 RF more, but it does it a lot faster. So, but we still got one more step to go. And that still did not pick it up because this thing is full. So the only thing we got left to do right now for this part is to get back here and hook up our seats. Why is that? Oh, shoot. Wasting power. And that's going to be our only issue. But actually, as soon as I do this, this should keep that from happening. So that's got us all the way from canola to tier two. How are we doing over here? Got a bunch of that. Our canola's empty. These are all empty. We've got to get canola faster. So that's not going to work. So that is what I'm going to work on. we got to get a, a backlog of canola going here. Uh, probably just going to switch this out and run it over here to that. So, but that's got us to this point. Next episode, because this thing's already running long enough. We will get to the last part of it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!